Hello everyone, this is my Baldwin C630T analog electronic organ. So I got this organ used back in 2015, and since then, it has served as a great practice instrument. It has a full 32 note AGO pedal board and two manuals, and the console itself is actually a nice piece of furniture as well. Over the years I added a few features, such as replacing the old fluorescent music stand light with an LED strip light, and that was done for two reasons. The first one being that the fluorescent ballast inside the organ really caused a lot of interference, which was annoying. And second of all, I wanted a brighter light, so it really worked out really well. I was able to use some of the existing wiring. Of course, it's low voltage now, but I used some of the existing wiring and it worked out well. More significantly, I actually added headphone functionality to this organ in order to prevent me from disturbing people when I was practicing. So overall it worked great until recently when there started to be some problems developing. For example, um, some of the stops on the pedals have a few dead notes. Well, almost dead. You can kind of hear it, but it really isn't great when practicing. And on the great manual, the more stops you add, this only happens sometimes and it doesn't really sound like it's happening now, but if you add more stops, there's a cipher and it keeps getting louder and louder every stop you add. So it's not doing it now, but it gets really annoying. The percussion stops do not work at all. And also, there's a loud, staticky buzzing coming from the speakers, which is really annoying. Lastly, when I press the E button, which actually stands for echo, but I call it external, it essentially cuts off the internal speakers and turns on the external speakers, which are the headphones in this case. The organ emits a loud 60 hertz hum, which kind of defeats the purpose of the headphones as it really annoys people around the organ when I'm practicing. So, since there's so many issues, I have decided to convert this organ into a MIDI instrument. And what that will allow me to do, essentially, is plug it into a computer and use various forms of virtual pipe organ software with sampled sounds, and it will greatly increase the functionality and versatility of this organ. This organ is over 40 years old, and the sounds honestly don't sound as great as the ones on the computer, so it'll improve in that respect, but it'll also improve reliability because as I have demonstrated, this organ seems to be decaying inside. I will also be replacing the amplifiers inside because the, I am sure they're the root cause of the uh, buzzing problem, but I will probably use the same speakers just because they're integrated into the console and they look like they're pretty good quality. The sound quality is not good, obviously, because the amplifiers are going. I actually hooked my phone into, into one of the amplifiers and played music over the speakers and it sounded really, really, really bad. So I will be ditching those amplifiers in favor of an, some, some sort of new one. I can even use an AV receiver or something because they're just standard 8 ohm speakers. So this organ is very complicated. So it's going to be quite a process doing the midification. And that's coming from someone who has experience with electronics. Thankfully, I actually have a technical manual for this. But one look inside, and you will see how complicated this is. Because this is before digital circuitry, so it had to do everything analog. This organ actually functions by using a master oscillator, which you can tune. And there's actually a little Allen key thing in the back where you can tune it. And then it uses analog circuitry to d divide that frequency up into all the different frequencies used for notes and it actually has a transposer so you can change the pitch of the instrument like that as well and it there's also various very complicated circuitry for the time that takes that frequency and essentially changes the timbre to get all the stops sounds so it is quite daunting. One look in the back of this instrument and it scares a lot of people away. Each key actually has multiple switch contacts because it does it, it arranges them by pitch. And they're not even really direct switches. They use an elastomer technology, which I will be 
changing, obviously, because that won't work for MIDI. So it's quite an ordeal, but I am looking forward to it because I like electronics work, and I will be uploading videos detailing my progress and any interesting things I find inside. So that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.